back door is always open. <laughs> You're not looking after my boy's back door properly. Well, it looks good. It sounds good. Let's go and have a close-up look. Now, I've got no idea where they found this from. I've got a feeling this is one of these very, very expensive ones that was in the last batch. These ones I should never have bought. I should have steered away from. Now, it says no door handle. Have you got any door handles or anything? Yeah. Uh, there's a top end of a salter then. Oh, yeah, we cut the chops off, didn't we, to make, uh, what was it called? A, back, a widget or something. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. Well, some now, some I know it looks a bit rough, but at the end of the day, we're taking all this stuff out of the back of these anyway, so it's kind of helped us, hasn't it? Yeah. What's that stuff there? That's lube, that is. Innie lock. Whenever I see lube and plastic gloves, I always go all kind of nervous. Yeah, low mileage? Um, seems to be. Yeah, it's got that look about it's it, isn't it? It's missing its speedo. Well, oh, no. Yeah. But, well, I mean, it went up into four what about them sure. blown up ones? Have they got any speedos in them still? Uh, they do, but they're in multiple pieces. Ah, okay. But I, I, I'm wondering, if, is it the same as a 432 one? Um, it could be. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, on one of the ones up the other end, we found a Speedo cable laying in the floor. Did you see that one? The one that Matt was stripping out last night. Ooh. There was a Speedo cable laying on the floor. That could be useful. Although we would have Speedo cables on those ones that have been blown up. Yes, it looks a reasonably clean vehicle in actual fact. Um, what does it feel like on the driving side of it, Ashley? Beautiful, beautiful. Come, come, stick your head in. Oh. Look at, look at these. Look at those tailors. Ah. Oh. Yeah, adjusted perfectly. So you get the right sort of cam, so they I just lock take, up I would nicely. Take credit for those, but they're already like that. Oh no. Oh, that's my pet hate. Look at them headlights. Oh, you can't leave them like that. Look, someone's ready, left though. them rotated around the wrong the way. Work. It's a beauty. And, and, and the dip. They're glass. Throw them away. Rubbish. Polycarbonate, the only way forward. Uh, hours. 287. It's not a lot, is it? 287. Not even running, is it? Thought for a project. What's that? Yeah. Oh, God. No, no. Just sell it to a film company, let them blow it up, burn it, throw it over a cliff. Put a Cummins in it. It'd be lovely. Oh, my. No, the wheel stations won't take it. They'll just break up. They were rubbish. So, Nick, what are you doing? Well, We've got our most important client ever going around London tomorrow night. And um, that's Gabby Old Abbott, this really lovely old girl. There's a few little bits on it I've wanted to do for a long time. And um, I think this is the time, don't you reckon? Yeah, I think this so. This is where her bum will be sitting. Oh. And um, I just thought if I do a bit of closed cell foam so it can't suck up any water, trim it all up nicely, um, it should look lovely. Mm. Got to make an effort, haven't you? Yeah. Closed cell foam, a lot better than what the army use. And then maybe cut it out with a bandsaw. Oh, getting very professional. I like a bit of sewing sometimes. You're actually quite good at sewing too, actually. Oh, yeah, I've done a lot of it. Yeah. Years ago, I used to sew up all the overalls on the Monty days. And yeah, that's about 60. So that is a lot of sewing. Now I've got to have one one way and run the other, haven't I? Yes. That could have been tricky, couldn't it? Mm. Yeah, could you even make a fancy marker as well for doing it? We could do with something better than this. Do you know what's good for things like that? A tire pen. Do you know if we're doing the, the right? Yeah, that white stuff. Yeah. How cool would that be? I'm going to do it on a bandsaw. Oh. Good old Robert, using your granddad's bandsaw. Well, that is sharp. Yeah. Bloody sharp. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is this a Saturday night one? Yeah. It's called the Limerick Kiss. Um, no, I 
think I'm going to use a bandsaw. I think the bandsaw would be better for the cars. Yeah. Jesus. How did you get through there? I don't know. How did I get to be bandsaw? It's over there. If you any of In the CBRT clobber. Kate's selling it on eBay, but she ain't selling it quite quickly enough. And oh, come and have a look at this though. Hang on, I gotta get through the obstacle course without falling. Uh, you know, on Zulu, <laughs> Zulu, you yeah. know, the beginning of Zulu when they're all having their dinner. Oh, in the store, the chimney. This is a Zulu stove. Oh, see how old that is. It's got the chimney goes on the back, you boil all your dinner in there, it's got a top on it. The chimney's about somewhere. I'm quite doing here, I'll do it now. How cool. He used to use that in the Monty days for cooking all the food, but it'd be so cool, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Novelty. You're gonna have to bear with me now to get to get you, because it's like a. Not bad. Not bad at all. Electric carbon, carbon knife. Really? Yeah. A good old friend of mine, Gordon Ramsay, who's come around to me and helped me with all my interior work on, on the cars. He was trimming. The, the chef, yeah, Gordon. Big into these cars. Bloody hell. Electric carbon knife, and he trim all the foam for me and everything we're doing the seats. Have you ever watched the in between us again? What's the in between us? <laughs> Jay. <laughs> I've never seen in between us. So what are you doing? So what are you doing, mate? Well, the edges of this, you always get a few little marks and it can show through your trim. So I just use a bit of razor sharp 80 and um, just to sort of clean it up a bit. Because this is going to last forever. You don't suck water up because it's closed cell. So if you do it right, you only do it once. Hmm. 